Good day to you all. My name is Michael Siziva, and today with me is Netai Matanire. Today we will be showcasing a digital forensics tool called Bulk Extractor. Bulk Extractor is a computer forensics tool that scans a disk image, a file, or a directory of files and extracts useful information without passing the file system. Bulk Extractor can extract a lot of information ranging from credit card numbers, email addresses, IP addresses, URLs, and more. Bulk Extractor is found within the Kali Linux Toolkit. So to navigate to Bulk Extractor, we go on to Applications, then select Forensics, and Forensics, we go on to select bulk extractor. So bulk extractor starts by loading all the required parameters which are useful in extracting information from a disk image or a file directory. So in this exercise, we are going to be extracting data from a disk image called Joeq USB which we found on digital corpora. So bulk extractor also requires an output folder where it will be storing its output. So for this, we are going to create a folder and name it bulk output. So we navigate back to our bulk extractor tool. So the syntax for using bulk extractor is quite simple and it requires an output folder and the disk image to be specified. So to extract data from our disk image, we're going to start by typing in the command bulk extractor followed by our out output folder which we have created and named it bulk output and the disk image where the information will be extracted. We press enter after typing that command. So bulk extractor is started extracting information from our disk image. So once complete, bulk extractor will indicate that all threads are finished and provide the summary of the artifacts. So as we can see, information extraction has been finished. So we now navigate to our output folder and see what information has been extracted. As we can see, our output folder is now populated with text files. So this is the information which, which bulk extractor is extracted from our disk image Joeq USB. So all these all this output were able to view it in our bulk extractor tool. So to view the artifacts found we type in the command list followed by our output folder bulk output and press enter. As we can see these are the text, the text files we have seen in the bulk output folder. But on bulk extractor, the information is now quite detailed. As we can see, if there is any information in our text files, meaning those with zero don't contain any information, and those with figures above zero contain some information which has been extracted. So today, we want to see what is contained in the text file email.txt since it contains some information in it. So to view information in that text file, we type in the command cat followed by bulk output and then specify the name of the text file and press enter 
as we can see in our text file there are email addresses which have been extracted from our disk image so another useful thing about bulk extractor is that we are able to see the frequency of the email addresses which, which have been extracted so they are contained in this text file called email histogram so to view this we type in the command cat and then specify email histogram dot text and press enter as we can see the information in this text file is the frequency of the email addresses which have been found and which could be of interest in performing digital forensics so if the same information we have seen here is the same information which is in our output folder called bulk output so to view this we just type we just open the email.txt text file and as we can see the text file contains the same information which we have seen in our bulk extractor tool so in this output folder that's where all the artifacts which have been found by bulk extractor are stored so we can view all the extracted text files in this output folder and also we are able to see email addresses that could be of interest to us and the email addresses might have been used to perform fraud and also we were able to see the frequency of those emails so today we are going to end here thank you very much